If you're a follower of this channel, we talk about lots of high-end and valuable bottles of whiskey, but one of the questions that we get asked most commonly is how do you store your bottles of whiskey? There are four basic fundamentals about how to store whiskey long term. And in this video, yeah, we're talking about closed bottles of whiskey. We're not gonna talk about how to store for long term purposes open bottles of whiskey because open bottles of whiskey shouldn't be stored long term, you should drink them. <laughs> so this video is focusing just about how to store your collection of whiskey. And there are four basic principles. So first of all, you need to uh, store the bottles upright. You need to store them out of sunlight, you need to protect them from humidity and you need to seal the capsules and tops with parafilm. And they're the sort of like the four most fundamental principles. As you'll probably know, most bottles are sealed with a cork stopper, often with a, a, a plastic capsule on top of it. Now cork is used most famously or most notoriously to seal bottles of wine. So why is cork used to seal bottles that contain liquids? Well, first of all, cork is impermeable to moisture. So if you lie a bottle of wine down on the side, the wine isn't gonna travel through the cork, it's impermeable. The liquid cannot pass through the cork. But cork does allow some permeation of gases, so it will allow a small amount of oxygen in. And you do need, when you're maturing wine, you need a small amount of oxygen to go into the bottle because with whiskey and wine, there's a fundamental difference. Wine is produced in barrels and then it goes into the bottle and it continues maturing in the bottle and it's that slow trickle of air coming in through the cork that helps the various chemical reactions and helps the tannins all sort of soften and it produces the wine that we know and love like from Bordeaux and Burgundy it produces that old mature style. Now with whiskey all the maturation is done in the cask and it only goes into the glass when it's ready to be consumed. So once a whiskey hits the bottle, it doesn't carry on maturing like wine. Now, there's another fundamental difference between wine and whiskey storage. With wine, you store the bottles on their side. You store them in racks on the side. And the reason for that is it keeps the cork slightly moist. So it keeps it expanded. And it also, when a cork is on its side, there's less uh, gas transfer, it's all, there's a PDF that we'll link to in the comments below that's like 60, 70 pages about why corks are fantastic for storing uh, wine. But all you need to know is that wine is stored on the side to keep the cork moist and expanded and in, and in the neck. Now, with whiskey, you need to store your bottles upright. And the main reason for that is that because whiskey is to be called whiskey in the UK, it has to be over 40% ABV. So it's almost 30% higher than wine. So it, it can degrade the corks. If you store your bottle side on, the cork will end up degrading and you will end up with less than satisfactory aromas and things inside your whiskey. Now, the problem with that is that the cork can dry out slightly, which can lead for more air coming in down the sides and you're gonna lose level and you're gonna lose quality. So the old adage is that when you're storing your whiskey upright, every month or so, or two or three times a year, you need to come and carefully tip the bottle a few times to get the cork moist. You know, <laughs> it's nonsense. Cork is impermeable to moisture. So yes, it will swell a bit when it's got some moisture in contact with it, but wiggling your bottle a bit isn't gonna do anything really. Now, and we can sort of say this with sort of quite confidence because there's a quote that we found online by David Cox and he's Edrington, so the owner of Macallan, Glenrothes and Highland Park. He's a director of fine and rare whiskies. And he says, because of the high strength of whiskey, you're always going to get a certain amount of evaporation which will keep the cork moist. So you don't need to tip your bottle on the side because there's always gonna be little reactions going on inside the bottle that will help keep the cork moist. Now, it does to a certain extent, and if you're using very good quality cork, but quite often these capsules are very cheap. So the problem is with storing your bottles upright is that the cork can dry out. And one of the problems that this creates is that you get a bottle with the cork stuck in the neck, and this is an old bottle, this is a 1970s bottle, but it happens, it happens with modern bottles that use cheap corks as well. And the problem with your cork drying out is that it will allow moist, it will allow air to go into the bottle, and it's not going through the cork, it's going around the gaps and the edges of that cork. 
and that can release, you know, that can cause the levels to drop through evaporation and it can cause the whiskey to oxidise. The most important thing that you can do to preserve your whiskies, as we've said, is seal them with parafilm. Now, what is parafilm? Well, actually, parafilm, it's been used for nearly a hundred years in laboratories and it's a type of uh, stretchy film that's mostly made of paraffin wax and it's designed again according to the website it prevents moisture and volume loss due to material composition and the tight seal it creates and if you want to get technical about parafilm it's technically a versatile thermoplastic plastic sealing film it's highly elastic and designed for airtight and moisture proof sealing and forms a completely tight seal even with irregular shapes and areas and that's what makes it perfect for whiskey so how do you seal a bottle with parafilm. Now, we've got these parafilm strips available on our website. I think we're selling them in packs of 15, so you can seal 15 bottles for like six pounds or so. So this is what you get. It's a paper-backed product. You peel the paper off and then you're left with the film itself. Now, what you do with the parafilm, you hold it onto the neck of the bottle and you pull it tight and stretch it round. And you want to create a nice seal all over the top of the bottle and all around the bottom of the capsule there as well. And one piece of parafilm there that originally started life that wide has gone around that capsule three or four times. Now, what this does is twofold really. It stops any air getting through the sides of the cork. So parafilm is still permeable, but by the time you've wrapped it two or three times around, it's gonna be nearly impermeable to oxygen. So you're going to get a really good seal on it. It also seals off all the irregularities. So as you can see on this screw cap bottle, and again, we still recommend securing screw caps with parafilm. You can see how it's conformed to the shapes of the bottle perfectly. Another benefit of parafilm is that it doesn't damage your bottles. You can put them onto here, and then however many years later you want, you can peel it off, and without any problem, that it will come off and it won't degrade, and it won't damage the capsule either. So it's really a no, it's a no brainer really for the price of it costs, you know, what it costs to seal a bottle, it really is worth doing because that's going to protect the level of your whiskey. Now, assuming that you've got your bottle stored upright and sealed with parafilm, the next thing that you need to do is make sure that your bottles are out of sunlight. Now, sunlight can play havoc with whiskey. Again, we've got a quote here from Isabel Graham, who was head of spirits at Bordeaux Wine and Spirits. And uh, she says, you know, direct sunlight is one of the most problematic things. It can alter the colour of the whisky and also dull the flavour. During the summer, a bottle exposed to light in a window, for example, could change colour within, within as little as four to eight weeks. Now, it's important to note that the colour change will mostly happen to whiskies that contain caramel colouring. Naturally coloured whiskies won't, uh, won't fade as much because the colour compounds are, you know, the colour particles are in the compound of the whisky. When you add caramel colouring into the whisky, that's a different compound that's not organically, you know, occurring. So they're the ones that tend to fade the most. And again, if you've got your bottles in, in sunlight, the contents can heat up and cool down and heat up and cool down. And that is another thing that you need to avoid. You need to avoid temperature fluctuations more than anything. With wine as well, with champagne, with whatever, it's not about a specific perfect temperature. It's about the relative stableness of that temperature because alcohol expands when it gets warm and contracts when it gets cool. So if you've got a bottle with a very high fill like this, if this was heated up in the summer, like if it was in a window or something and it was getting to 20 odd degrees or so, it, would, could, it could expand upwards and come out of the top and damage your bottle. And it's for this reason that you always end up with a bit of headspace in a bottle. So if you look at a modern bottle, like this Macallan 18 year old that we've got here, there's a decent amount of headspace there. And that's because again, if this is getting shipped in a container and it's gonna warm up in a container going across the sea, you will get some expansion. And there are some bottles that have famously sort of popped, I won't name them because I think it's not good to the manufacturers, but some of these ones are really prone to that expansion. So now we've looked at storing your bottles upright, storing them out of sunlight and keeping them at a constant temperature. We get to another killer for bottles and that's humidity. So let's just put this bottle away. And humidity can have adverse or negative effects for your whiskey in two ways. One's aesthetic and one is sort of a bit more damaging to the whiskey itself. So firstly, if you've got your whiskey in a high humidity place, so this bottle of Yamazaki was stored in a wine cellar where it's quite damp, 
the label degrades very easy, the paper breaks down, bacteria and mold gets in, and you end up with damaged labels. So high humidity in the long term will damage your labels. Older bottles of whiskey especially, and this is where you get to a really anal, boring, complex part of the industry about glues that are used on labels, these older bottles can be quite prone to dropping off if they get to high, temp you know, high humidity because the glue is broken down. With modern bottlings, they, they use a different compound of glue now, which is slightly better for humidity changes. But the biggest problem you want to avoid is high humidity to damage your labels. If you live in a hot country, you might have air conditioning though, and air conditioning naturally reduces the humidity in a room. And again, this can be problematic because if you're stripping all of the moisture out of the room, the, the liquid in these bottles is going to want to sort of go to sort of like it will you will get higher evaporation in your bottles simply because the air around it is 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 lacking moisture and it, and it does speed up the evaporation rates there so again sealing your bottles with parafilm if you're keeping them in an air-conditioned room etc will make a big difference because this should have make a completely airtight seal over your bottles so there we have it it's how to store your bottles of whiskey simply keep them upright seal them with parafilm and again we've got parafilm available on our website if you want to buy some you want to keep them out of sunlight in a place that has got a stable temperature away from high humidity or low humidity and if you look if you're keeping your boxes in in an air-conditioned office or an air-conditioned building or whatever a good way to keep the moisture in you can buy on amazon moisture packs that are for cigar humidors and storing antiques and works of art so you can buy one of those pop it in the box and it'll keep the humidity in that box at around 40% or whatever you want it to be at. If you want more information and a more in-depth dive into how to store your whiskey, head to the Mark Littler website where we've got a blog available. And if you're looking to buy or sell bottles, head to the Mark Littler site as well, because we've got the Mark Littler shop where we've got some amazing whiskies available to buy now.